Caleb Friesen, ladies and gentlemen, for the Faculty of Headliner for this evening. Oh, standard. Uh, <laughs> so I haven't been up in a while. Um, I had a whole bunch of jokes I wrote over Christmas, and uh, they're not really relevant anymore, but if you live in a drunken stupor like me, you can just, you know, pretend, and uh, it's real easy. You're like, what is that Christmas anymore? Ow, 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 happy New Year! Ow, ow, ow. I don't know why all my drunk impersonations turn into all Schwarzenegger impersonations. <laughs> they do. So um, over Christmas, I went to this uh, family gathering uh, with my girlfriend, and uh, we brought her dog Sadie. And this whole set is kind of about her dog. It's it's because she's a really funny dog, and uh, like my girlfriend likes to describe her. Um, She's a uh, part dash hound and part black dog. We don't know what the other mix is. She's kind of a mutt. And uh, a friend of ours was saying, uh, it's, it's a shame she's not a purebred, because purebreds are better, and they're just so much smarter. And I think that's really weird, you know? Because I wouldn't say, oh, Mike Green, he's half Jewish and half Asian. That sucks. <laughs> That'd be an asshole thing to say. Marissa Williams, half black, half white. What the fuck? Come on. That's rude, man. So, I don't, like, we don't apply it to the human world. Why would we apply it to the dog world, you know? And, and besides, Sadie, that's that's the dog's name. She's, uh, she's a really smart dog. And uh, she reminds me of my girlfriend in a lot of ways. She's, like I said, smart. She's fun. She's cute. Uh, likes to lick her vagina in public. <laughs> that's a little weird. <laughs> It's kind of hot. It's the rhythm of the soul. Um, so uh, we went to this family gathering and we brought this dog, Sadie. That's uh, that's the whole point here. Um, and my mom brought her dog, and uh, my mom, this, uh, my whole family was there. That's part of the the, the point here. Um, and my mom's dog's name is Frodo. It's this little dog, and yeah, his name is Frodo, I guess, because it's short and hairy, like a hobbit. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, so Frodo and Sadie, they get along really good. We always joke about how they're boyfriend, girlfriend. But then I guess on this occasion, he decided to take the next level because he kept trying to fuck her. In front of my whole family, it was kind of awkward. You know, every time I turn around, he's grabbing on, and, and it's like, come on, man. My nephews and nieces are there, and it's a little weird, you know, like, come on. And so... This kept going on, we kept making little jokes about it, like, you at least take her out on a date or something, you know? Take her out for spaghetti, like on Lady and the Tramp. And uh, so this kept carrying on until we were all, uh, we were having our uh, gift exchange, and uh, we're all in a circle, and the dogs are playing in the middle, and once again, Frodo's jumping on top of her, trying to fuck her, and it's looked kind of weird because they're both fixed, and Sadie's like, what the fuck kind of game is this? What the f You're not even accomplishing anything, man. And uh, I guess Sadie had enough of it. She she grabbed and turned around and then grabbed onto him and started fucking him in his face. <laughs> my whole family. It was really fucking weird, man. I didn't know if I should discourage her for doing it because I was really proud. Like, because she made him the bitch in that situation. And so, uh, in conclusion, this family gathering on a, uh, a scale of one to ten, I would say my girlfriend's dog trying to fuck my mom's dog in the face brought it to a solid eight. So, um, so yeah, I had a pretty good Christmas. I got one of those Xbox Connects. Uh, Mike Green was talking about it earlier. It's a really cool uh, get, uh, gadget. If you haven't heard about it, it's kind of like the Xbox version of the Wii. It uh, detects your movement and everything, and uh, all it is is three cameras, like it's and uh, kind of like on a robot thing that you that uh, you put on your TV or whatever. And one of the things I think is really interesting is when you turn on your Xbox, it actually like looks up and down. It's got like a little motor in it. And it goes. Boop, boop, boop. And so it kind of creeps me out because I think my Xbox. It's kind of, you know, checking me out, kind of <laughs> sizing me up, like, oh, this motherfucker, he's probably going to play the dancing game again, isn't he? <laughs> Fucking pussy. And I'm like, come on, Xbox, so what if I am, you know? And you can talk to it now, too. You can be like, Xbox, play DVD, and it'll play the DVD for you. 
And uh, I'm a little worried it's gonna start talking back. It'll be like, human, go fuck yourself. You can't dance, you fucking Mennonite. Uh, it's true, I can't dance. I come from a, a long line of generations of people that actually believe that if you danced, you would get pregnant. And so uh, so I'm trying to do the, all the moves and I, I can't keep up. I think they need another lower difficulty level under easy, the Mennonite difficulty level. It's just like, now just snap your fingers. <laughs> just come on. Now you already fucked it up. Fucking God damn it. I got no rhythm. So um, overall, uh, 2010 was a really interesting year for me. Um, uh, I was living in the bush for a bit, uh, and uh, <laughs> true story. And then uh, later, when it was getting cold, you know, I had to I had to do something. <laughs> Moved in with my girlfriend in her condo, and uh, and living with uh, Sadie, uh, the little dog that I mentioned earlier. And every once in a while, uh, we take her out for walks. And uh, I think it's kind of uh, weird because I grew up on the farm, and. Uh, uh, on the farm, if you want to take your dog for a walk, you just open the fucking door. I mean, walk yourself, you know? You fucking go shit wherever you want. I ain't picking that up. Do what you want. And it's kind of weird how uh, I've never lived in the city with a dog before, but um, part of me kind of likes it because I get to watch her reactions to different people. Some people she just fucking hates instantly. Some people she loves. I don't even know why. It's like she detects evil. She'll see somebody and she'll be like, fuck you, fuck you, I hate you. And I'm like, what is it? Did he kick a dog or something? And she's like, fuck me, rah, And the guy's probably like, oh man, why do dogs always do this to me? I'd kick that dog if I got the chance. That's why, that's why she hates you. <laughs> so uh, we keep her in uh, uh, our condo in, uh, and uh, at first, I thought that it was a little bit cruel keeping an animal in such a confined area, you know, and she let him roam free. But then I started thinking about it. I, th I thought, you know, if an alien picked me up and this alien was superior to humans, like we're superior to dogs, and said, look, man, you can come to my place. You don't need to fucking worry about jobs. I'll fucking feed you. I'll entertain you. I'll keep you safe. You just need to hang out and be happy when I come home. I'd be like, fuck yeah, I could do that. No problem. <laughs> Even anything comes home, like, oh boy, oh boy, all right. Come on, let's walk. And you're like, all right. <laughs> go for a walk. <laughs> you walk in me, and I'd be like, fuck that guy. You see him? He hates humans. I can tell. Fuck that guy. You know? And I'd be like, come on, human. I got alien shit to do. And I'd probably see another a chick and be like, oh, oh, I got a girl. I got to go hang over. Come on, man. Let me fuck her. Come on. And you're like, get off my leg, you fucking human. I'd be like, sorry, I got carried away. And you're like, besides, I can't let you fuck her. She's a purebred African. And but I'm sure that alien was not going to want you to have a mixed breed. And I'd be like, oh, come on, man. What if I just let her fuck me in the face?